Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Captain of Sky and I am here with Caladorn. Yuck. <laughs> and, <laughs> dear God. Anyway, we are exploring the the, uh, the changes that have been made to 0 0.17. Now that it's gone stable, I've seen a lot of questions on the forums and we've hear, heard lots of in questions in the Discord as well. So hopefully we can help answer some of that. Now, uh, we would like to talk about our, we have a mod pack uh, with this, but mostly we're playing vanilla so we can look at the changes. We have Afraid of the Dark, which makes it so it's light when it's dark. Um, the Factorio Standard Library, which is just kind of like basic functions. FNEI, which is a nice little production calculator, not actually a production calculator, it's a, it's a what goes into what thing imagingy. And we'll explain that as we go along to help you kind of plan your arrays and figure out what products are needed for other stuff. We also have nanobots. Now that admittedly is a quality of life thing that I kind of need because I have severe neuropathy, so it helps me with less clicks. Um, we also have squeak through so we can get through our oil uh, areas better and then to-do list so that I can assign many, many tasks to the Eckmeister and he won't even know about it until they pop on top of his screen. Yeah. <laughs> so the very first thing, most important thing in Factorio is to change the color of your avatar. So you can press the uh, console command key, which is just to the left of the one on most keyboards, or at least QWERTY layouts. And we're going to say slash color uh, orange. Yeah, that's kind of critical. And the slash color uh, command is does not disable achievements, just so you know. Okay, so are you used to 017 yet, Caladron? I heard you haven't played in a while. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, indeed. So the first thing you asked me about was the hot bar uh, and how many rows you should have. So I'm going to go right into the settings and we're going to look at the interface and how you get more hot bar rows and that is right here active quick bars we've set it to four yuck. um and you can set it to <laughs> yeah yes indeed <laughs> so that's how you get this many um if you press e and open your uh inventory you can put these different items onto the bar just by clicking them in and then uh, you can clear them with middle click and that's that's how you do that. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> I, I see how this is going to go. And then you can also clear your hand by just pressing Q. So that's how uh, we're going to deal with the world today. So I'm going to put my uh, burner on iron here. And I think you might do the same. We need two uh, more burners on coal. But I'm going to go ahead and find some large rocks if I can. Uh, so we can mine them for coal. Yek. Hmm? Are, are you going to say anything other than yek? <laughs> yek. <laughs> hey. <laughs> oh, dear. So anyway, I'm mining these large rocks because as you can see on the tooltip, it has both stone and coal, which is kind of handy. So I'm going to put this coal on my hotbar. The cool thing about the new hotbar is it also shows how much coal you have. Um, and that's including all the stacks you have in your inventory. So I'm going to control right click to put half a stack in each one or half of what is in my hand in each one. And uh, that'll get stuff going for now. Yeah, we'll find more rocks. <laughs> Dear God, <laughs> I'm glad. I feel like I'm teaching a bird how to play Factorio. <laughs> now, did we ever discover what a yek is? Is it, is it like a yek or like a Norwegian yek? Yek, yeah, yek, yek, yeah, yek, 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 well, the, you, you sound like a computer that has gone a little bit wild here. You sound like GLaDOS a Yuck. little bit when she went, goes, she goes crazy in the end of it. <laughs> That's it's kind of like that. Um, just FYI, just so you know. But when we started this series, before you started the recording, you <laughs> specifically asked me to yek whenever I was referred to. So this is your own fault. Do not blame me for doing the yekking here. I I'm not blaming anybody. I am just trying to get you to speak. <laughs> well, you, you specifically instructed me to yek. 
whenever I was referred referred to. Well, we were gonna call this a specific series name, remember? Well, yeah. that's definitely been taken care of. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> you mean yek indeed, of course. Yeah, a yek indeed, yes. Be best, better, I mean, better. In yek. We're, we're yekking. We're, we're fine. Anyway, so I just have made four burner mining drills, and I'm going to put them down over here in a square pattern feeding each other. Do I have any? Oh, yes, I do have some coal. Actually, what you can do, you can press Z to put one piece of coal in the miner. And we're going to come back later and see how this gets on. Basically, they feed each other and they act as storage chests as well for each other. So those are going to function that way. And I'm going to keep on getting some iron plates and now uh, construct more of these burner miners and even more stone furnaces. I see you're happily chopping trees there. I'm doing my very best at exterminating the true enemy. <laughs> the true enemy, yes. Uh, even the devs have mentioned this. Uh, the true enemy of fa in Factorio is the trees. I am very uh, glad that is... the devs have seen reason. Yes, About well, time. no, no, they. I'm, I'm sure that they've always believed this. They've always known how this is, you know, affecting us so, uh, so mercilessly. You well, know? that's good because that means that I don't have to declare them heretics, which is a good thing. Excellent. Yes, that sounds very reasonable. Okay, so some time has elapsed, like three seconds. So what we're going to do is control, <laughs> control left click and take all the coal out. And you see, we have now more coal magically. Yay. Um, so they just build up uh, in the next one. And, um, you know, the one behind it feeds uh, the one in front. Yeah. So yeah, I, sh I should, uh, um, I guess, elucidate mm -hmm. on what Catherine just said. When the coal appears magically, it's because there is a little gnome wizard inside of each of the little uh, miner I drills. There isn't really any <laughs> mining operation going hey. on. It's just a gnome. It's a wizard gnome. And, uh, and is he... it a no, no. Is it a proper Nissa? No, no. no. Th those, those, those do not have magic uh, skills. It has to be a gnome. No. And Are you sure? Yes, I'm quite sure. I, I know my Norwegian folklore. Um, so, right. and the other okay. thing is that uh, it, it has to be a gnome because uh, humans and elves they would be too big to fit inside the thing. So, oh, jeez, yeah, I, I would agree with that. I can see that. And this would yep. probably fit inside or a gremlin, but we wouldn't want gremlins in the machinery. No, probably not. I, I think that would be a bad idea. Okay, never mind. Ah, proud Caledon has cleared out all the trees. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Very nice. Oh, jeez. Okay. Okay, maybe I should do something useful. Um... No, no, that's actually quite useful because that allows us to uh, start um, getting this stuff done. Okay, so I'm going to put two burner miners and I'm going to put a box here for them uh, to put stone into a box. And while Catherine oh. is doing that, I should probably explain that uh, I haven't played Factorio since October or early November last year. That's 2018, not 2019, since it's New mm. Year's Eve today and some people might actually s look at this in 2020. Um, so like time... a billion years ago, right? Yes. Is that how many? Okay. Back Excellent. then it, was, it wasn't even 0.17. This is the first time I'm actually <laughs> playing with 0.17, except for inside our MMO events, which uh, ah. I was definitely not doing any playing. I was doing all the other things. Yes. So I'm kind of lost and confused about everything, but I do see that the tooltips are very, very useful now. They even tell me how much fuel is inside the thing, which is very useful. Yes, they are very useful, actually. So, oh, the other thing that we I turned on anyway is called alt mode, and you were asking about this earlier. It's, it's basically they added an icon for this because I think it was really something that people didn't even know existed. Um, so it's right here on the, uh, the little shortcut bar. And it basically shows if, you know, what product is being made inside a thing. And it also shows the arrows on different machines, which you can also set up in the interface here. Um, the pump arrows, mining drill arrows, combinator settings. You can also do inserter arrows. I find it a bit busy, but they're also useful if you want to have those on. So, yeah, I'm making, let's see. I'm, I need five more steam engines. So that's what I've been working on. 
You need five more um, steam engines. Well, I can't help you with that. No. I already made boilers, but I can make them. It's fine. Uh, if I have to do everything myself, it'll be fine. Oh, I'm just setting up some more temporary <laughs> iron for now. Temporary iron, yes. Okay, so... Yeah, we'll do this. I have the pump, and I have the boilers, and I have the steam engines. So I was thinking about... Let's see. Thinking about setting up the power south of the south lake there that little lake what huh? uh, so it's huh? kind of near the coal huh? oh what? yeah sure yeah map yeah okay <laughs> that works for me sure it's fine okay um wow these need a ton of iron these uh these steam engines I think I'm going to start making some pipes. So we need one undergroundy, and then several Underneath overgroundies. <laughs> no, not yet. Not yet. We're not to the end of these yet. Oh, right. <laughs> Too early for that. Oh. <laughs> I know, I know. Sad times, but it'll be happy times soon. Don't worry. Don't you worry. Oh, we'll excellent. We have hmm? I'll make some science packs while we wait. Oh, excellent. That's a great idea. Okay, so I'm making our first step toward automation, which is power. So that means that we're not going to have to run around like little robot drones anymore because we're actually going to have power. Oh my god, I found a job for Caladorn. Hello. You speak for yourself when you say that you don't run around as a robot <laughs> drone. One of the reasons I haven't played Factorio in such a long time is because I am a robot drone. <laughs> oh, wait, there's a better word for this. There is? Yeah. Now I'm okay, curious. It's yeah, it's fine, it's fine. There we go. Boom. <laughs> you should get a pling or something when that appears. <laughs> what? When what appears? Don't you see your to-do list? You now have a new task. Oh, I do? <laughs> um, yes, apparently you do. Exterminate Southern <laughs> Forest. Okay. <laughs> the pink one. This one over here. <laughs> no, actually, we don't have oh my to God. probably exterminate the whole thing. <laughs> we can wait till we get our drones for this. You know what? I think maybe we should make our first array over here where there's no trees. No, no, no. Don't, don't chop all the trees. I was just you know, joking. If you want me to do tasks and <laughs> I quests... I was just joking. <laughs> I want you to do it in a proper oh. voice. Oh, no. It's called to-do list. We messed up the, the configuration. Shoot. We yeah, should yeah. have called it. it should, yeah, we'll fix it for next time. All right, we'll do that later. But yes, we, we should do it on a proper voice. I'll put it here. Don't 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 worry about the forest. I'm You're already so happily You're... exterminating. <laughs> but we can get the bots to do it. Not, Who cares about the bots? Necessary. I like manual labor. All right. Yeah, you like manually destroying the trees. I think that's that's really that's a good point. That's what it boils down to. Mm -hmm. No, that's what it chops down to. <laughs> yes, true. Okay, so, oh, also, on our map, we decided to have our biters uh, be in peaceful mode because uh, we decided that it's better to have cordial relations with them, uh, that they would feel better about themselves if we weren't fighting with them all the time and that kind of thing. So, yes. Well, I, like how you, I like how you diplomatically <laughs> take responsibility together with me here. The, the true reason we are playing with peaceful biters is because I objected vehemently when, sh when Catherine suggested that we should have biters on, because I don't like biters. <laughs> <laughs> but well, we do. Well, we, we didn't completely um, eliminate them through the, from the playthrough, so they well, still when here. I'm, when I'm able to go visit them and have tea with them, it's okay. <laughs> yes. Yeah, they are in peaceful mode, but we did want to show the um, expansive power of artillery trains and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so yeah. All right, I'm chopping some trees so I can get some make some power poles here. I didn't, okay, I didn't so the new icons. These... I didn't know what? you had these destructive tendencies in you, that you wanted I... to show artillery <laughs> trains and stuff like that. That's a new side of You've you. You've never seen me destroy biters and stuff? That's a surprise. Uh, huh? Well, actually, I have. I, uh, you were the one who taught me how to exterminate biters with a flamethrower. 
back in the Belt Diva series. That. I oh, love that. Yet. I'm actually quite <laughs> sad that they ruined that. Yeah, I know. That was a bit sad. Because that could, was fun. You could just, as long as you could outrun one of the behemoths, you were safe. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm generally playing, when I'm playing MMOs, I'm usually playing a kiting class anyways, so... Uh... There you go. Oh, but by the way, a question for you as a native English speaker. You know the uh, the shell, the exoskeleton yeah. of, uh, say for instance, a biter? It's yeah. spelled C-H-I-T-I-N, and I've heard two different pronunciations for it. One of them is chitin, and the other one is chitin. I haven't heard chitin, I've heard chitin or chitin. Yeah, I think it just depends on where you're from. No, but I think actually, actually there was one series on YouTube that I watched, but I can't for the life of me remember which one, where the uh, person who was, I think it was one of the um, the uh, Elder Scrolls lore series that I'm watching from Fudge Muppet or someone, where uh, mm -hmm. the person said that he had learned that the the other way is actually mispronunciation. Oh. And you don't remember which one is which, nope. I guess? I don't remember if it's chitin or if it's ah. chitin. I, I think it's chitin, but that's what I always thought it was. And he corrected. We should look it up like yeah, a dictionary.com. Yeah, I'm so, going to do that at one point. One thing I wanted to show you is they have new icons for the, um, the power plants. They have a plug icon. It's like, yo, this is not plugged in, <laughs> which means a power pole is needed. Did you make any labs by any chance with your research tendencies? No, I just made the... Uh, I don't think I have the uh, necessary stuff, but I can make a lab. I can okay. just go raid the uh, iron and copper storage. Uh, just raid some of it, but not all of it, please. I need some. Yeah, yeah. Some of these I need... Um, some coal. of these yeah, need coal. I have a few coal that I will uh, happily share with the... Uh, Copper things <laughs> with the hardworking machines. <laughs> okay, so I'm making a lab now. Okay, great. And then we're gonna press T to start research. Oh, have you seen the research queue? Did we? Yep. Oh, did I enable I the research queue? Oh, I bet I didn't. You no. didn't. I forgot. Okay, well we'll do that in the next episode. We'll have a we, there's a console command to do that. Normally it enables once you get to launching a rocket, but since uh, <clears throat> we'd like to enable that before then, <laughs> we'll we'll just enable it before the next um, the next uh, episode. So anyway, we're gonna get these all set up here. It's we're fueling them. It is pronounced chitin. Yes. Chitin. Okay. Excellent. So this is a self-feeding. This is this is a non-self-feeding. We got to feed this ourselves, which that doesn't even make sense. But um, I like this explanation. Gonna... Yes. I'm going to make some belts so, uh, while we wait. <laughs> Thank you. That will help us with the self-feeding part. <clears throat> anyway, um, we're going to press T for new research. Um, and the first thing we want to get and is automation. And then we can press F for respects. <laughs> Yes, I know. Uh, we're getting there. Hold on. Um, anyway, we, um, we're we going to make assembling machine ones. Uh, so we're going to start the research on that. And as soon as Yekadorn puts the science packs into the lab, then we should see some progress on that research. The Yekadorn. Okay. That's a new name for me. Caladorn. I thought you, you were often known as the Yekadorn. No? Usually I go by the name Lord of Tentacles these days, but uh, that's some... If you're proclaimed yourself, we, hold on. We need more tentacles in Factoria. I need to talk to Twinson about that. <laughs> that would be kind of nice. Like one of like, I don't know, the furnaces or something ran randomly goes on a rampage of like just spits tentacles everywhere. That would be kind of rough. Mm, rough I time. like this idea. <laughs> okay. This. Probably okay, so I got a bunch of as well. Oh, that's a great idea. Did you put the science in the? Th oh yes, nice. Oh, we can see the progress already going here. Oh, and while you're waiting, you can fish. Uh, fishing is actually good I'm for good. you catch. F yeah, I know. I'm telling. I'm telling the people who have never seen fishing before. Yeah. You can right click. You can mine the fish. It's a really rough process because you like get your pickaxe in there and start poking at them and it's rough but anyway you get to have these fish and if you're playing with biters on i highly recommend you put them on your taskbar so that uh, you can click them and then eat them 
uh, and that brings your health to full. My health bar is not shown because I'm not injured, but when you are, they restore a good amount of your health. Let I like that they that. have... Huh? Hey! No! Stop <laughs> it! So now you can demonstrate Fine. how the fish works. Fine! <laughs> See? Yes, now she, she's, she has no green dots on her anymore. So th they're damage minus 80 physical damage. Oh my god. Okay. And shooting speed is two per second. Um, just, <laughs> I don't know why that's there. It's such a weird thing. I wonder if there was this idea of tentacle... No, uh, sorry. I mean fish. <laughs> fish. <laughs> this Stop idea this, I is completely serious. I, I think there's this idea of tentacle. Um. <clears throat> fish. I meant fish. Of course sure, you I did. meant fish. Of course you did. We all believe you, dear. We all believe you. Hey, hey. <laughs> Yes, well then, there, yeah, there were things there, but I'm not going to talk about that anymore. <laughs> so we're going to put these here. So the other thing that you can do is if you want to adjust one of your slots here, you can always just click it and choose what you want to have here. Like, for example, I like to have, um, what do we need here? Underground these? Probably underground these. No, we're not talking about those anymore right now. Um, and then... You can just like pre-select it for whenever you get those items in the future. So that will reserve those slots for those which you, you know, you're going to need stuff there. Um, so I usually like to use burner inserters for the boilers so that if you have a power crisis, which happens on occasion, rare, rare occasions, mm -hmm. um, it can sort of restart, <laughs> restart itself. So we need five. There we go. Five. Yes. Good, good. And now we can make some uh, electric miners. I'm already I'm on gonna the... make some. No, no, I'm I'm Excellent. already done with them soon. Oh, good, good, good. Okay, well, I'll bring the belts your way, and you can adjust the tentacles as. You... How about that? Oh boy, that was that was supposed to be a suave move there, but it really didn't work. Your belts. So I think we just is, need like um... is <laughs> is food up, <laughs> right? Is food up? I like this. <laughs> Catherine's belt foo is food up. <laughs> yes. Yeah, with, with lots of food. Um, depending on your decided proclivities. I mean, you might want a cheesecake or other, I don't know, New Year's treats. Might even want sushi. Sushi? Oh, that's nice. I like sushi. Good stuff. Okay, so... I think I'm going to move the lab since um, yeah, we yeah. don't have any extra uh, science space. laying around. Oh, you well, spaced too. Um, and I'm going to put these little inserts. Look at them. They're so eager to grip things off the belt. They're just waiting there for the... F you know what? I, I can't let them just... Here, let, let me put, put some coal on the belt so that they can like start grabbing... Oh, they're not going to grab because I've already put stuff in. <laughs> I've put stuff in the boilers. <laughs> that was my fault. Sorry. <laughs> Yuck. Yuck. <laughs> I'm going to walk up to <laughs> <clears throat> Yes, <laughs> sorry about the <laughs> miscommunication <laughs> with the inserters. <laughs> it's, it's just, yeah, yeah that's fine. <clears throat> anyway, <laughs> I'm going to make a couple of assembly machines now. You do that. <laughs> I I think we need to. I think it's time for it, <clears throat> for sure. Mm -hmm. All right, so we have power. We're almost having some lab things going on. We haven't built our smelting arrays yet. That's probably going to be later in the next episode but we'll see how far we get in this one we won't have a good start though all right so the next thing we want to um uh research is logistics this will give us undergroundies and it will give us a splittery dues those are the technical terms i hope you enjoy them mm -hmm. there we go and let's see we want to put our lab our temporary lab array somewhere where it's easy to be reached by the machines making the plates and stuff, but not terribly in the way. So, let's see. I think I'll put these guys... Just slightly in the way, not terribly in the way. <laughs> no, no, not terribly. Definitely not. That would be extremely inconvenient. 
Okay, so here, there, and there, I think. Yeah. Okay, so these things are going to be making science. And science needs... Um, scientists. It needs one... No, we're not going to feed it scientists. Forget it. You were thinking of the wrong game. So we're going to feed it one <laughs> copper plate and one iron gear wheel. So we're already making copper plates in these furnaces here. Um, but we need to make the gear wheels. And those are made from... In a machine. From iron plates. So they're made one... Yes. They are made are okay in a machine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, because nothing in Factorio is made in machines. I like this uh, teaspoon feeding of information here. Hey, uh, this is for people who are beginners to the game. I, I want to show people. I mean, you don't have to handcraft. There are people who handcraft everything, and it's sad. The inserters are sad. They really are depressed about this. Not to mention I mean, I don't the factories, to so the assemblers. <laughs> I know. The mass they grief feel is neglected. real. <laughs> yes, they do. I'm glad that you're recognizing this. That's great. Of course Wait, I is can. This, this no, run out of, it ran out of stuff. Um, okay, let's just move this ahead slightly. Okay. Um, I, I like how you're like completely making fun of me. I'm going to ignore that, though. Just FYI. I'm not making fun of you. Just slightly. No, I okay, let's never get make some fun of you. Of course not. No, no. <clears throat> anyway, so the so this is going to allow the inserters to put the gears directly into the science labs without the need for boxes or belts or anything. Um, and then we're going to need a couple of boxes. So let's make ten. <laughs> I was made fun of for that as well. Like, we need two boxes. Let's make fifty. Mm -hmm. uh, well, but it is actually fairly useful. <laughs> It that. is. I don't see the problem. <laughs> he, I know, I don't either. So anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to have two boxes here feeding um, each of these things. And in the two boxes, we need to have uh, a ratio of iron to copper. Now, the ratio is going to be here. Do we need two iron to one copper as the total raw amount here? So that's what we're going to put in each of these. So for every two of these we'd get one of those in terms of stacks. So that should work. We're going to put the same in the next box as soon as we get more materials. It's just easier to count and not have to, like, guess too much. May of I course, just... we can't... Nice. Go may, ahead. May I just interject that I'm not a fan of these new brown trees, which are almost impossible to distinguish from a uh, bush. Oh, sorry. Your objection has been noted. <laughs> Thank you. Don't know what we're supposed to do about it, though. <laughs> I guess just note it. We have noted it. Good. It has been noted. Excellent. Okay. Okay, and then we're going to bring power over here, because these also have the plug icon. It's like, yo, we don't have any kind of stuff. But, oh, God, you see? The inserter arms are already getting going. Oh, there we go. Happy days are here again. Okay, so lab needs to be also placed here actually the first one can go here so yeah sure you mentioned earlier that you had some idea for something um yes this area where i am now is that a good area to put up some smelters yeah i was thinking um kind of horizontally from that uh lake uh horizontally going to the right and then have the bus start on the right hand side what do you think about that um, do you mean the smelting array should go from north to south, or do you mean that they should go from, from west to, right. to east? West to east, okay. West, I, yes, west to east. <laughs> from left to right, not north to south. We only speak in <clears throat> other directions. Right. Does that make sense? <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's yeah, yeah, good. yeah. I'm, 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 I'm. <laughs> well then, you sound tasty. <laughs> I believe okay. I am. Uh, probably, yes. <laughs> all right, so let's see. I need to get... Oh, no. I was trying to, like, use up all the copper on these tiny little bits here, and I'm apparently doing so. so there's not much copper left. Right, um, so one smelting array with stone smelters or stone furnaces, that's 16, isn't it? Or is it 24? 
Um, it is going to be 48. One, sm one, one array. Yeah, 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 but with stone furnaces? Yes, with stone furnaces. For and a yellow, a yellow belt? belt, it feeds... Yep, yellow belt feeds 48 stone furnaces. Okay, so what my question was 24 is correct, because it's 24 in each row. Yes, yes, 24 in each row, that's correct. Okay, let's put these here. There we go. Okay, so I'm sharing this one here because I want to put labs on either side. I found that like two per factory is uh, too many labs, but I'm wondering if three between two factories is going to be okay here. We're going to try this out. There's a new, a new ratio, right? But it also depends on how fast the science packs are used because if you look at the text, uh, this, these take 15 seconds to process, and others take 30 seconds, like this one, and then some are like 60 seconds, maybe, 45, 30. Maybe there are none that are 60. Huh? What? There's a 60. What? <laughs> what? I didn't say anything. You grunted at me. <laughs> no, I was just amused at your explanation. Nothing more. Uh, well, I, I give good explanations. People know me for my good explanations. I haven't That's said anything thing. else. I would uh -huh. never, never, ever say anything else. <laughs> hey, you literally, you literally taught me this game. Yeah, 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 I know. But it was just funny the way the grunting happened. I was just kind of like surprised. <clears throat> Yuck. <laughs> oh yes, and if you want to pick up some extra stuff off the belt, just press F. Um, and, and you'll collect a bunch in your inventory so you can feed all the machines that you want. All right, so let's just connect this. We're actually almost at the end of our coal age. Uh, so I probably shouldn't need to feed these machines, but I'm going to anyway. I think we do, unless you have uh, an oodle of inserters around. I don't have any oodles yet. I no. will make an oodle. Oh, I don't I'm have making, any either. Oh. I'm making oodles of inserters myself, so it's fine. Excellent. Okay. Okay. I can make two. Hooray! Okay. <laughs> now then. <laughs> oh! Oh, this is best. Best research. Yo. Boom. Best research. Yo. Mm-hmm. See? See? And, and, uh, and now we get the part where Catherine starts her uh, rap. Yo, yo, in the house. Uh-huh. <laughs> Catherine the sky. <laughs> I like this. Please proceed. And uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm at a loss for words, so I don't have any more. <laughs> hey, you're not supposed to lose your words like this. No, <laughs> you naughty thing. Okay, so here we are. We're good. Um, yeah. So basically, some people have said to me like, "Oh, geez, I'm so tired of waiting for research to be done." So you don't ever have to wait for research to be done. You can just make more labs and make more machines and make more production. The, the, the thing about Factorio is you should never, ever have to wait on anything. Um, you just make more. Um, and to prove the point, the speedrunners of this game have done absolutely fabulously. And it takes just over two hours to launch a rocket if you optimize your movements just so. I know that seems crazy to people who like try and their first go is like 21 hours. Um, but yeah, it is definitely possible. It's on video. It's great stuff. Are you filthy rich on iron plates? Uh, I have 300. Would you mind sharing you 100 with me? Uh, not at all. Excellent. Yeah. Thank you. Um, this splitting arrays that we do to get things into these things, I don't remember how to do those. Ah, yes, I will. Um, I'll make some. Let me get some. If you could just uh, make me uh, one. Copper. Yeah, of course. Then I can do the rest. Because I have ah, plenty of Ah, and it might be, <laughs> might be an excellent time to demonstrate how we use um, the, the other thingy thingies. The copy and paste function. Hooray! So, let's see. We need to have... Let's see. We have a sideways belt going like this-ish. <laughs> huh? 
What? No, just the this ish. <laughs> yes. I forgot I need more than one splittery do. I mean more than two. Okay. Come on, splittery do's. Work. Oh no. Crap. Okay, it's fine. Um I'm gonna set that splitter to output priority on right so that we don't run out of power in case we have too little coal. Of course. Yeah, yeah, good idea. Do you have any um iron plates? <laughs> <laughs> or belts i need belts oh thank you okay that works That's i only perfect. have 49 belts left so okay well i have zero okay right so, yeah that's how it was yes so this thing the way this works is kind of fun um when you don't have two splitters here these go and they have like this turn sideways and everything goes on both sides. But once you have another splitter there, it splits it and those two belts go in opposite directions and the stuff feeds from opposite sides. So you have perfectly aligned two lane belts. It's quite handy. So this thing, this is the, whoopsies. This is the coal, oh God, come on. This is gonna be the coal coming, sorry. <laughs> my, my fingers are not quite, oh my God. Used to the keyboard, new keyboard, it's fine. If you see me typing in Norwegian letters, you'll you'll figure it out. Anyway, um, and then we have our these thingy-majingies like this, and we can go. Well, yeah, I guess we should use maximum space like this. Whoops, not that way. Here, there we go. All right, so coal is going to come in from this side. Let's just give this maximum distance here. Like no. No. Oh, come on, brain. I can't count the tiles when they're <laughs> when they're invisible. It's hard. <clears throat> that sounded almost like slightly crazy. <laughs> just slightly. Oh, darn. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to dis uh, dislodge those guys. And then ah, I, d I can press R while hovering over the top to change the direction of the belt, just like this. So that will go and see how it creates these beautifully uh, perfect columns of material here. I love the new ore. Hey, what do you think of the new ore? I don't I, know if you've seen that or not. I've seen it in videos, but I really like it. Uh, this uh, coal insertion thing that we've made down here, I'm probably going to move that at some point. Uh, as soon as we get okay. landfill, so I can fill in this little pond. Um, so What's wrong with the pond? I like this pond. It's very, I don't know, very Zelda-like. It's kind of like Triforce-y. I think it's cool. Oh, that's too bad. That. Um, so <laughs> hey! what, I, what I'm planning is also to extend the smelting lines southwards in addition to northwards. Okay, sure. Oops, there's not enough inserters here, just so you know. Um, that might be the point, you know, <laughs> you know. I don't know if you notice so you... the fact that I have removed some of the belts huh? so that they don't go too far yeah away. i noticed that was pretty cool so oh the other thing is um we need for um the yellow belts we are going to need 30 electric miners um to fill this belt to capacity to make the entire smelting array work now this this smelting array is really great having the 48 um furnaces because you can upgrade it to the steel furnaces uh and red belts and it's exactly the same uh did you just take a screenshot no no okay i thought i heard the screenshot sound of the steam screenshot screenshot sound you wouldn't anyway. hear that from me N neither me so it was like oh my god it's anissa in the machine you never can tell anyway it's a gremlin. or gremlins <laughs> anyway um this is a really nice thing just to upgrade when you get steel furnaces you just plop them down and put red belts and it's exactly the perfect uh ratio uh as well oh look at this we can feast on iron that's automatically made yay and on that Run. note i think it would be probably a good place to end the episode <laughs> because uh, feasting on iron sounds rough for the uh stomach I, so we might need I uh, was going to well, I was going to say sort of like run naked through the fields of grass, but I, uh, but I don't think that that would be appropriate. Not with the tentacles dangling out and all this kind of thing. Well, as long as you don't run th naked through the field of iron, that would be rough. Well, no, but iron is okay because if we're robots 
and like iron is our hey, thing. I am a robot, not we you. Could, like, I, hey, I've Bes been known to be a robot. Besides, I'm not. It's not iron that they use. They use titan or titanium. Oh, like titanium. Oh. Yes. Oh well, but we're fancy robots then. Okay. Anyway, we hope you've enjoyed this first installment into the series and hope you've enjoy enjoyed our silliness as well. So thank you so very much for joining us. Take care of yourselves and each other, and we'll see you next time. Toodaloo! Yak yak! <laughs>